I was always like coming into auditions with the script, just reading it like this. They're Me like, too. and then other people come in like have it memorized. Yeah, They're yeah. like, you want a Cajun accent? I was like, well, fuck this. <laughs> like he's got options. Like I just read it. Like, like every audition is just literally yeah. Jesus reads the script. I'm like, don't take my baby, please. Don't take my baby. <laughs> They're like, Could you, so uh, give me more action. I'm like. Don't take my baby. <laughs> How was that? I got the part? Nah, I'm out. All right. I take mad waters and leave. I, yeah. I definitely think those two have banged off screen. Yeah, they definitely seem like their chemistry is too ramrotted. much. Speaking of banging off screen. Hey. <laughs> uh, I, thought, I thought that was, I was like, there. I was like, wow. I thought you were talking we're about here. I was like, like wow. we're here. Hello. It's so messy. Guys, wow. Jesus and Miro just walked into the studio. Hey, Guys, yeah. thank you so much for being here. Thank um, you. You guys are going to be at the New York Comedy Festival. Yes. Uh, November yeah. 11th. 11, 11. Uh, Bodega yes. Boys live at Madison Square Garden. Are you so wild? Uh, are you into astrology? Uh, no. Why? No, because I don't know. Is anybody into astrology? Isn't 1111 like a special number? Oh. Yeah, it is. No, it you're is, supposed right? to make a wish. Yeah, you gotta make yeah a wish. that's like that's like hood that astrology. astrology. <laughs> that's something guys would say. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, you text your girl at 1111, like, make a wish. We're thinking a about wish, you. Yo. Oh, make if your a girl wish. is really simple, you hit her at like 1234, like 1234, babe. <laughs> yeah, I love you. Hood astrology is so funny. Like, yeah, yeah. there's certain numbers, like 666. Like, yeah. there's certain things that you yeah. have to, 420. Yeah, yeah. But 1111, make a wish. I still do that. It's never worked. Never? I don't I think. think it's worked. Or like an eyelash on your no. Nose. I'll yeah. take every yeah. wish. I don't think we keep track of those. Like nobody's following oh, up. I know. God and Jesus. God and Jesus are listening to wow. every single one. I and they make it come true. Imagine if you were God. Like you was like, I made all the planets. These idiots are wishing on eleven <laughs> eleven. Like he's just looking at. He's like, like look oh. at gravity. Yo, yo, asshole. It's an eyelash. I'll take it's any It's an dumb eyelash. Wish. I'll get my mitts on any, any. Even if I think it's complete hog shit, I'm like, I'll take the goddamn wish. You know what I'm doing? I to make New York. To make me feel better about living in New York, I've started throwing coins in the water on the train tracks. Yeah. Because like, you do that in Disney oh. World, right? And make if you, you can make a and wish. And you make there. a wish. Yeah. Like yeah. A, I do that. Like an urban wish. That is so sweet. So you're like, I wish my train comes on time. And yeah. what, do you ever miss the puddle? So that's how you do it. You, you get like a rat I mean, and a rat purses at you. <laughs> First of all, yeah, yeah, yeah. or worse, you splash up some of the water, it gets on your mouth. Uh, yeah. First of all, that water's pretty oh, fucking opaque. So I don't know if you... Yeah, that's a good... The coin just starts dissolving it, as yeah, it goes through. Like, you just see like a smoke coming out of the fucking thing as soon as you threw your penny in there. It's wild. Also, I'm pretty sure NYPD will give you a ticket for that. Oh, yeah. you oh, throw pennies on the track? Asshole. Come hey, over hey, here. Hey, hey. Yeah, hey. that's littering, yeah. technically. Yeah. You want to throw a penny on the track? I'll throw a fucking penny on the track. How about you, you asshole? <laughs> <laughs> eh? Do you ever think about how much money you've just lost by, like, pulling money out of your pocket? And I did, yeah. just Earlier dropping? today, yes. a 20 came out of my pocket. I was I just yeah. I saw it, luckily. All the, or the just you've thrown away in the trash with, like, just cleaning out pockets or purse. Like, Everything. I, I lose. I lose. I just shed debit cards throughout the city. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Oprah. I'm like, uh, you get a debit card. Uh, you get a debit card. Uh, 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 the other day I was walking, and I dropped about, I want to say, like, like just four quarters. Yeah. But it's like it was like on 53rd Street and there's all these people around and like like people recognize me and I was like, do I really want to be seen <laughs> bending up, over for four quarters? I end up quarter on TMZ as it rolls around the street. The way down. <laughs> and I got a long stick and going down the sewer trying to get the quarter with a piece of I gum would, on the that end would of make it. Me like somebody more. If I saw like Robert De Niro chasing, like chasing a, a penny. dollar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh my god, my buy light. It's take a penny, leave I'm a like, penny. I better, I better go see his movies. He's, must, he's not doing so well. <laughs> he's so humble. <laughs> I gotta go see Meet the Fockers. He's such a real guy. That's so true. When you drop change. Just that you know what you got to do. You have you, to just chase it. If you leave it, though, you look like you look, I don't yeah, need money. Yeah, yeah. I don't care. Oh, that's a good like point. Pay for something at a bodega, and you're you right. like a, a dime drops into the gum, yeah. and you're like instead of fishing it out, I just sometimes leave it, and you're they go, like, oh. someone will go, hey, there's a dime, and I'm like, I don't. You just feel like, yeah. Okay, and then I always feel like an uppity to, cunt. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So oh, then look at fancy pants over here. Oh, are you getting in your Tesla? Oh, you don't need a dime. You don't have the time to dig in the double bubble for your dime. I'm sure you guys have heard it before like who's this person yeah, yeah who's Rachel what we get a lot is people coming directly to us like who are you <laughs> Which one? Where, yes. do I, where do I know you from I don't, yeah. I'm like I don't know cops uh, <laughs> that's so funny I don't know the local news uh, <laughs> it happens a lot if like other people on the street see us they're like oh Jesus and Meryl you'll get like oh they're like ha Oh, wait, what are you guys? What are you, you're rappers? You're rap, you're rap, uh, you rap, do, uh, rap for me. <laughs> rap. <laughs> rap. Uh -huh. Hip-hop. A baby bubba? A baby bubba. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 we don't do that. We do Hold on, comedy. that's a hot track. Somebody isolate that. <laughs> <laughs> Big with the millennials.
You guys have a show coming out on Showtime. What's yes. What's, yes. what's going on with that right now? It's just a so rip, cute. It's just a rip of Ray Donovan. I mean, it's completely unoriginal. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just another season of Shameless, but like I replaced <laughs> William H Macy and he plays one of the kids. <laughs> no, no, it's another. It's a uh, it's similar to our last show, but you know, just like a more polished, like more. You know, they got more bigger. resources. We're just what process it. are you in? What what what? When is this going to be on? Do we know a date? Are you guys just in pre-production? Starting in 2019. Still still early love out there. Love it. You guys, I love this point yeah. when you have the deal, yeah. but you, and it's, it's like, not in the... Yes. And, everybody, yes. and all your handlers are like, do not say the air date on the air on any show. Yeah. You can't even... You can't, you can't say anything. You can't say anything. But do not even it. say it. But it's there. We have it. And everything you have the is there. Everyone's everything is so there. excited for you. Yes. Everything is being worked on. Like it's all coming together beautifully. We're like super excited. I'm just like about to blurt it out, but I'm like, no. My new thing is I just tell people made up dates. Yes. Because <laughs> okay. people on the street are just like, when is it gonna start, bro? November Thanksgiving. April oh. 18th. Black Friday. Black Friday. <laughs> Yeah. February 30th. Yeah, yes. first day of Hanukkah. <laughs> first, first night. Day of Sorry, Hanukkah first amazing. night. First day of Hanukkah. Wow. But don't Is that you the day think... party for Hanukkah? <laughs> <laughs> that, you, you've been holding out on me? <laughs> So much of this business is the announcement, is the deadline yeah. announcement. Oh, is the, yeah. is the, is, right. and, and, and that's almost like most of it, you know, mm -hmm. is just announcing that. So you guys are in that perfect position of having announced it and gotten all the congratulations and you're a big, but you haven't, you haven't had to show us anything yet. No, so it's yet. all excitement. It's all, we only expect the greatest from you. Yeah. There's no, dis I love that phase between announcement and, sh and show date. Yeah, yeah it's a delightful feeling. It's, yeah. Well, we're kind of getting a different result now because people on Twitter are like, because you know, people on Twitter hate everything. They're already like, oh wow. They're like, oh, you guys blew your, you blew your load. Yeah. You should have been on the air already. No yeah. one's going to watch it now. Nah, yeah, it's yeah, too you, late. You're fucked up. I'm yeah. like, yeah. like, we haven't even Look started at all this stuff that's happening. No, I can't wait for Look this at all show. the stuff that's happening in the world today. You guys should be on TV and covered. I'm like, the world is still going to exist yeah, when yeah. we are on the well, air. Well, I think. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. You know what I'm saying? Unless, you know, I push a button and end it end it all. I will do it. Don't say I won't. Is it going to be a weekly? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, because you guys used to do four days a week. Yeah, four yeah. days a week. Yeah. yeah. How yeah. was that? How was the grind of that? You know, it wasn't that it bad was because it was like it was all off the cuff improv. Like we yes. just us talking, just riffing, yeah. whatever. Because we've met other comedians who work four nights a week, and they're like, bro, they're like burned how out. Do you, how do you do it? Yeah. Because it's script. They have to write. They everything. write. Oh, and yeah. You guys just Edits show and up and rehearse. be yeah. yourselves. Yeah. And it's fun. It's wild because they're like, oh man, it's just so nuts. Like me and my thirty writers. We know. I was like, thirty writers. I was like, you, how how do you pay them? How do you what? Ha <laughs> we don't. We just go in and 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 talk. Yeah. But yes. it was fun because then you had like, if something happened, you had an immediate platform to react to something. Yeah. So now it's like something happens and you might send like one tweet like, ha, huh, showed her. But it's not. <laughs> it's not the same. Yeah, it's not the it, same. What's it feel like? Yeah, not not doing it every day. But no, also you have bit... people come at you. They're like, oh, I wish I could get your viewpoint on this. Yep. Like, yeah. Yeah. And I'll be in my basement like stone at two a.m. Like, here's my viewpoint via Twitter. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm yes. saying? I have 280 characters now. It's it, it's the same way I feel about this show. It's like I just it's my it's four days a week for mm -hmm. two hours, and I just there's no. I literally walked in at ten oh three today. I was late. Uh, <laughs> first day being late, but late like gang. that's now going to be the new red, the new thing. And um and it's just you just talk, and people are like, "How is is such a grind?" And yeah. I'm like. I just am myself, and I get to just talk with my friends. It's the great. We've See, carved the out the greatest. I have the greatest job. Yes. Yeah. That's because, the beauty because you're, you're yourself. Yes. It's not like you're going to come in here and like get gemmed up and be like, oh, I'm going to a character mode. Well, yeah. I did Nikki Wack Wack. Like, that wouldn't be. Up, no, you, you show know. up, you don't get ready, you look like shit. Oh, well, I know, it's just how. <laughs> just roll out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. it, it is just so nice to have um, carved out a. Pre a a place in this business for myself where I don't have to like prepare yeah. that much. Yeah. I just want to be. The and what you can shit do, is what you get, what I've gotten fired for in every other job, just running my dumb yap. Yeah, it's like well, finally I'm thing. paid to talk back. Yeah, nice. you just think about all those times in the past. Like if I yeah. had said that. Oh, oh, I'd be HR God. right now. Oh, Meanwhile, like man. the like wonderful. Oh, <laughs> Take our money. I'm oh, like, yeah. oh, I should have done this ten years ago. Jesus and Miro are here in studio. Rachel Feinstein is also here. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure to check them out at the New York Comedy Festival, November 11th, Bodega Boys Live at Madison Square That's Garden. Right. Is it just you guys at Madison Square Garden? Yeah. Just us. Dude! Yeah. At the Hulu Theater. <laughs>
Who? Not the who, they're not the actual masters. Not like, but I mean, we're not doing like Drake levels, and not gonna be Kanye say, floating on the stage above. But that's still it's a big still deal. Yeah, that's yeah, still it's Madison wild. Square Garden. If it's you guys wild. were lowered onto the stage, I would respect that. If you're ever gonna be lowered, oh yeah, you know, yeah. 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 you should be dropped is, with strings. We talked about that, and it's just like that comes out of our own pocket, and then knowing us, we just like want to cut edges. <laughs> so it's just like I'm like, I'll just hold the string while you go down, and have someone else do it for me. That is so but... funny that that one activity would come out of your pocket. That's like seventy nine ninety nine. They, to lower yourself. The shows are weird because they're just like, you can do anything you want. And, like, they'll pay for everything else. And it's like, can I have like a microphone on a standard? Like, that's $2,000. That's $80,000. Yeah. 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 There, yeah, there yeah. are if little costs like that. If you go over two minutes, uh, it's a uh, $45,000. Uh, <laughs> How about the flames or smoke? Oh, forget it. Don't worry. Oh, no, no, oh, the no, fire no, surcharges no fire. are way up. If you see us with like pyrotechnics, you know we made it. Yeah. <laughs> we really, and monitors and shit like that, like on a trillion dollar set. Yeah, we made We want to get to like U2 levels. Like, it's just unnecessary, like flying in on a helicopter. Yeah. They're putting on our podcast How about on every just Apple oiled product? women petting you? Like you could have some friends or something. Just oh wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I'll wear Speedo. Women. Like, yeah, I'll wear Speedo. Like there'll be so many, like so I'll much do body it for hair. a Starbucks <laughs> gift card. <laughs> Sounds good. Right. Sounds good. Any amount. Any just, amount. Just I like the card. I like to fill my wallet with different cards. <laughs> you know what? I actually I just used the Starbucks app. It got really I haven't used it in a while. It got really fancy. Oh, I gotta get I tried to order from a moving car. And for pickup, yeah, and it got all sassy. It was like, um, you are seven minutes away. It's gonna take three minutes to order this drink. Order when you get closer. Damn, yep. I was like, oh, wow, bitch. I was like, wow. <laughs> that I was, was like, like, bitch. Okay, <laughs> let me Seriously? tell you something. Okay, Starbucks. Yeah. Excuse me. When you get closer, <laughs> then you can make your order, sir. <laughs> I was like, okay. Wow. I got shit to do over here. I have a line. Excuse me. <laughs> That's I have to take Starbucks care of them. App. It's probably my most used app. Mm-hmm. I get Starbucks three times a day, and I always use the mobile app. I look at people in line. I'm, I'm like, like what you idiots. idiots. You guys are maniacs. You just come what? in all like impatient. You're like, the latte for Nikki. Yeah. I, or, I use the app. That's what you got. I use that. You just push through all the kiosks. I always just like, kind of have it out so like the the people at the bar like yeah. know that that's what I'm there it's for. It's like a, you like know? a cop badge. I'm They're like, 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 like casually. Share, hey. Oh, the, the, I love the listening to orders. You order like like Meg Ryan on Harry Met Sally. I like know. it's like the most specific order ever, but it just sounds like a woman who knows what she wants. Yeah. Like, hey, hey, can I have a chai latte with almond milk I and my a splash of lamb's wool? Are so cunty. I hate my orders. I always feel so what bad. Is, but what's I always. Your order? What is your main order now? I mean, at Starbucks, it's. Well, it's ridiculous. Today, say it, today, say it, say it, say today it. literally, the girl goes, I don't know what this means. I heard, the, I heard the barista say that to another person, and I go, I know that's my drink. So it's um, it's a venti traditional misto. I don't know what, uh, which a misto is half uh, coffee, half yeah. steamed soy. It is a... Um, it's a bitch latte. It's uh-huh. like it's it's not as strong as a latte, and it's less milk. It's not as like milky as a latte. Yeah. You're worth half it. Pop- I had, You're worth it. I had never heard the word misto before. It's I a cafe. I'm like, like, just like, like, imagining like, me going like to the a, bodega to get coffee. Yeah, yeah. I'd be like, Yo, oh, Poppy, let me get a misto. They're like, is that oh, an anime they... character? What the yeah, fuck is yeah, that? Yeah. <laughs> sounds like is he in Infinity War? I don't, <laughs> I don't remember him from that movie. So a misto, it's a cafe au lait, but Starbucks uses Italian phrases, not French. So you have to say misto. It's it, but it is a cafe au lait, which is an, a common order in yes. a French cafe. Okay, yes. I'm not okay. crazy. Good to know. Um, and, and let me just say 50% of people don't know where to find it in the computer. They're always like, where's a miso? Like, it, it is a weird order. Then, okay, so then I get with almond. They don't call it almond milk. They call it almond drink. So it's al- with almond milk instead yeah. of regular. Light soy. Almond and drink. then I do a splash of soy, which that confuses people because it should just be. Then I am adding soy, but I recently found out the soy milk there has like. A, like a candy bar's amount of sugar in it. Uh-huh. So now I just want a little bit of soy milk as a so sweetener. A, a juice whisper. That's yeah. how you ask for that. A juice whisper. Just a juice, just a juice whisper. Whisper. whisper of soy. Wow. <laughs> this is one phrase I would not be saying out loud at Starbucks ever. <laughs> Can I get a juice whisper? Can I get a juice whisper? I have an Italian blink. Of, yeah. uh... <laughs> Let me get a Jamaican trail a load of cinnamon. <laughs> And then I get it extra hot because it's never hot enough. Because I, I get it extra hot because I chug things too much. I'm a chugger, mm-hmm. yeah. and um, and that slows me down from chugging because it will burn, burn your my throat. throat. Yeah. So it it keeps me at a normal pace that people tend to sip coffee. It keeps yeah. me sipping. So yeah. and. Oftentimes they will only fill it up to like here because that's how they you, do you. That's how they get you. I hate that. I was that's like, if I and I go if I, I if order I I'm, if I wanted a grande. Yep. 
Yeah. I would have ordered Outer, a grande. Outer, Outer, I hate yeah. when but they don't is, ask you if you want space either, and they just give it to you. Oh, I yeah. don't want room. Oof. I never want room. No yeah. room. No just room. Just no room. I'll Go get him fired. I'll get him fired. <laughs> but I feel so bad. <laughs> Wait, you'll Jewish whisper to their manager? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a letter writer. I oh, make wow. sure. Oh, my. No. I'm like, can you imagine? I'm telling my wife. Like, she writes letters for everything. Does she really? I never no, she, wrote like, a letter ever. What is, does she the, get stuff from it? She she gets so much shit. Like, I, I, I had never known of this strategy. If you get something fucked up, you write an angry but well worded email or letter. If you if you fucking physically write a letter, wait, and she put a stamp, writes a letter like yeah. Benjamin her, no. Franklin. Yeah. That's the only person my I can think of that's written. That. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah, never no. done it in my yeah, life, but no. she would get all kinds of free yeah, stuff. No, my mom, like my mom, yeah. I, I, this is bizarre. Wait, it's, she'll take out a pen and paper and, paper and, and stationery. Yes, and stationery. I don't even think I own paper. I don't yeah, know how to write. I just have to write on the the back of my American Express card. My friend does it, and he writes certified mail so that to the Head of the company, so that they have to uh, they have answer to, it. Uh, you have to acknowledge me. Don't yeah. just throw me in a pile. Wow. What? Like she My- would literally wow. write like so. One and you day, get like, all kinds of free shit. All kinds of free shit. Very petty, stupid thing. Got an Entenmann's cake from like the supermarket. <laughs> it was bad. It had like mold on the bottom. She was like, th- she took pictures of it. Was like, this <laughs> fucking cake had mold on the bottom. I demand my money back. Blah 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 blah. blah. Supermarket gave her a hard time. She's like, I'm going to corporate. Wrote a like fuck. I- what, what what is it? Brick and mortar letter? Like yeah. fucking <laughs> put it in a fucking envelope, put a stamp on it, sent it. She did it. like a five paragraph essay. Yeah, oh, seriously, sent it, and then Entenmann sent back like a fucking giant envelope full of like, yo, free Entenmanns forever. This still, wow. it's like Charlie's golden ticket. They're like wow. all over my house. Yeah. Like I lift up my couch cushion, and it's like, oh, free cake. It's true. Like, it oh, takes cool. one cunty note, and you get like a yeah. lifetime of a, free shit. A lifetime shit. of free shit. Just the idea of writing a physical letter <laughs> yeah. is so exhausting to me. I would yeah. never yeah. do it. Oh, I don't even God. mail things I'm we supposed do, to yeah. mail. We do you even get a stamp yeah. nowadays? Yeah. You gotta go to the post office. I went to the bodega the other yeah. day, and I was like, you sell stamps, and everyone was like, we don't take food stamps. I was like, no. no Believe it or not, at one time, people put a little picture on an envelope yeah. and sent it across the Nobody land. Nobody has stamps. You got to go to the airport to oh, get yeah. it or something. No, it's no, crazy. No, my, 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 <laughs> also, if you go to the post office, they, the post uh, o- people at the post office hate you for using the post office. Oh, yeah, they're I, angry. Uh, are you want to send a package? Like, Motherfucker. Why are you keeping us in business? They're just, they just want it to be over. They want to yeah. be put out of their misery. And you they're see, like, you, wild. Keep, you see the windows and you just see the person sitting there like, mm-hmm, and you walk yeah. over and they're like, did I turn the light on? <laughs> no, so go back online. Did I say next? Motherfucker. Did I say <laughs> next? Did, did, no, 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 no. Did I say next? So you want this package next day or overnight? I'm like, overnight is next. Overnight is not next day. Overnight it's, means it will reach there at 9 o'clock. Next day means it will reach there the next day. If you would read the website before you, you would come here, you, you wouldn't be wasting. <laughs> excuse me. He's wasting y'all time because he did oh not God. read the directions on the website. I, excuse me. Matt, thank you. You know what? We're going to lunch. Daniel going to lunch. Baker. Daniel Baker is wasting y'all time. We're going to lunch now. Oh, my Close your God. your window, girl. <laughs> and then they shut the window. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> I've d- I've done the thing before where I've called Starbucks because I've called corporate yeah. <laughs> before because I just want because I know they'll throw me a free drink on oh, the yeah. app. It's oh, very yeah, easy yeah, for yeah, them yeah, to do. Sure. You talk to someone online and and what you do is you go, I'm a loyal customer. I swear, like I I I'll, you just present yourself as someone who like I've spent a lot of money here and I will yeah. continue to. Yeah. Like, look, I am a good customer. I've never given a man a shin job. I just <laughs> <laughs> I just love your coffee. Uh, is a, is one free drink? Handies. <laughs> yeah, is one free you... drink enough to and, massage you? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just to re, yeah, because it's, it's five bucks. It's five bucks. When you're do paying do five dollars for coffee, I just, I, I have that. Just, I, I, I'm a lady that can drop five dollars on the street, and it's not going to pain me. Mm. It's, I'm not in a position where five dollars is really that much money. But when you're spending that much on a cup of coffee, yeah. I demand excellence. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I demand, yeah. and, but here's the this thing: this is, is water though, and beans. <laughs> I feel like she's making this speech at the register out behind her. Like, damn, I am not I, making oh, this trade. No. <laughs> she's a man's ex. I'm on Twitter. Like, she's a man. By the way, <laughs> because people working at Starbucks, the, yeah, I'm like, re- you're making minimum wage. You and I've heard the other side I of it. At, oh yeah, I work at Starbucks. You have? Uh, yes, it's awful. Me, it's it is awful, awful, right? Awful. I have so much empathy for people who have to work with. And it was worse because it wasn't a standalone Starbucks. It was a Starbucks within a Barnes and Noble. No. Yeah, which is the Starbucks. Where people go and they're obnoxious and they order 
outlandish they shit. Set up shop and, all day. Yeah, right and then there, like with twenty the magazines, books. I'm oh, like, God. fuck you. And then they leave shit. They spill shit on books. Then it's my fault. Then the boss comes up. He's like, you know, they're not supposed to be reading up here. You're supposed to, you know, politely tell them to, you know, oh, move to God. a different area. And I'm like, bro, I'm not going. To, this guy has a weird look to him. I don't like. He has a thousand yard stare, yes. and he's reading forty eight yeah, laws of power. Have to privately scold people no. yeah, on top like, of yeah. serving. Oh, yeah. It's ridiculous. That's but you know, crazy. so you know what I did is I got high in the back and I ate the entire Snickers pie. So fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we have no more Barnes and Nobles in New York. That's That's right. Right. <laughs> we, that one, we had that one sad one in Union Square. It's like, uh, oh, yeah, everyone just goes there to use the bathroom, and that's it. That's There's the only reason to go to Barnes and Noble. Than a Barnes and Noble bathroom. That's why I'll <laughs> always complain about pro- like I'll complain about product, but never service because I was just so, I've been so terrible at every yeah, single yeah. one of my jobs yeah. that I that just wildly too. fired from every place and fired like in under four hours before. That I'm like, who am <laughs> I? To complain I once about had this? a temp job and they called. I was just a four day job and it was just answering phone. And they called me on day two and said, you don't need to come back. I was, wow. They were like, it's not temporary enough. Like, I wasn't even working there. I got fired from a temp job. But, like, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Service, I never complain. When my dad does a thing, what, dads never understand that the, it's not the waitress's fault that food is late. Right. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's so rarely the waitress's fault, but they right. cannot think fathom. to the kitchen. They can't yeah. fathom. Yeah. They think she's the one cooking it. They yeah. really do. Yeah. They really do. And I always try to explain, it is not her fault that yeah, goes, no. well, she's just waiting there. I go, because she's waiting for the kitchen. For the yeah. fucking bell to ding. Yeah. What is she supposed to do? Yeah. It's um, but yeah. You, what's what jobs have you been fired for? Four from, hours. I, I was, that. uh, That's crazy. I was fired from a store called Fat Shoes and Clothes on Broadway, and I thought I was so cool. Fat like with a ph. Yeah, with a ph. Oh. And I thought oh, I was like, hip hop. I thought I was the truth because I got that job. I remember it was my first job in New York, and I thought I was like a BC boy. I'm like, I work on Broadway at a place called Fat Shoes and Clothes. Like, oh, sabotage. Yeah, I was like, definitely like, get off my dick. Like, like I told shit? everyone, I'm like, I'm working on Broadway, Fat Shoes and Clothes. Get right off my dick. <laughs> 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 it was so humiliating because I was telling all my friends at home, I'm like, don't call me as much. You know, yeah. like, I'm working at you know, Fashion Clothes now. Don't call <laughs> me some space. No, I don't have time. I have, a, I have, I have an early shift tomorrow on fat clothes and shoes. They're I really fat did. I was like, I'm in the BC in my mind that I was yeah. like, that's it. Like, and then it was so humiliating because I was fired in under four hours. <laughs> Damn. Uh, but basically, because I was supposed to get people to buy the clothes, and mm-hmm. I'm like, I can't do that. I can't bother people like that. Oh. That's the worst oh. feeling in the world when you walk in a store and can somebody's like, yeah, help bothering, help like, that looks good. Are you sure? Oh but like, God, I can't. Yeah. And so I was supposed to do that and fold. I can't fold. My fold was a slovenly disaster. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was so just, he's like, are you a woman? Like, he was so wow. disgusted with my folds. My folds were, like, right away, I remember him glaring at me. Like, she has suspicious, <laughs> heinous folding oh, skills. This, I don't know. Yeah. She's using the board, and she still can't get it right. <laughs> I couldn't. I used that yeah. dumb yeah, cardboard. Yeah, me too, the but... fucking stupid board. <laughs> fuck you, board, and fuck Aunt Taylor Loft. <laughs> Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. Is I feel so but, bad for people in retail. I feel like it's the worst. worst. It's the I, worst. I worked inventory at Antelo Loft. And no then, way. And then, yeah, and then they got they got a guy fired for like scamming and stealing. From so then like they had to do like an instant promotion and they promote the guy with straight back cornrows and gold fronts <laughs> to the floor to wear Ann Taylor blouses and like tell people like tell Hasidic Jewish women you look great in this floor length skirt in the sales section you know what I'm saying and it was the worst shit ever like people like are like well this says this price tag doesn't match this price tag I'm switching but I was like you can't switch price tags on shit I'm, and I'm just like overwhelmed like I was just like put me back in inventory please oh my God. I worked loss terrible. prevention at the Gap on. 34th Street during Christmas. Oh, no. What does that entail? First of all, Everything that happens is just continuous Christmas music on a loop in the background. Just oh, jingle bells. Yeah, oh. You're tackling like a shoplifter. It's like jingle bells, jingle bells. And like all we had to do was watch to make more sure the register from the basement got to the uh, the security room. Uh-huh. But the register would be like $30,000 every time they would take it out. So yeah. sometimes people would like try to tackle the people carrying the register. No way. So you have to walk behind them. And then when they reach the room, you'd be like, touchdown. And were you watching just to see if people were touchdown shoplifting too? too? No, you were just, just concerned about that. the register. So you'd see people shoplifting and stuff and you couldn't do anything about it because I'm like that's not listen take as many sweaters and then you may pouch do you want all I'm worried about this register over here <laughs> so that was your only job was to only watch only had to, I did it for like a week and I had to quit yeah. oh it was the Christmas music was driving me insane oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like here comes Santa Claus here comes Santa Claus <laughs> and then it's like I'm smelling that remember when Gap had the cologne that smelled like grass Grass. Yeah. I so love now, grass. So immediately, I smell the. I hear the Christmas music. I smell grass. I'm just uh, like, 
God, and then people are just like, do you have these chinos in like a 34? I'm like, I don't. I don't even I don't, know. I don't work here. What are chinos? Like, oh know. my yeah. God. No, yeah. yeah. I was, and it's funny that you said that because like they delegated me to be the guy to escort the cash register bag guy to the yeah. deposit thing. Like, I'm running away. If this guy is getting <laughs> robbed, like, I'm out of here. Like, yeah. I'm not fighting over, like, 9.50 an hour. Yeah. My guy. If like, the guy tripped with the bag, I'm running out the store. Yeah, like, I'm not fighting. Yeah. Like, I'm not. I want no yeah. smoke. I'm on a chair. Like, <laughs> hope he lives. <laughs> They're like, you big. You go with him. I'm like, no, no, That's no, what we're walking no. through. Like, everyone give me your money. I'm like, I don't really work. I don't I'm work. Tell. I don't so I'm just, I'm, I'm going to covering, leave. like, the law thing on the sleeve. I'm like, I don't know. This is, I don't know who this guy <laughs> is. I have no idea. <laughs> Yeah, the the shoplifting thing. You realize like anyone can shoplift. They can't yeah, do anything yeah, about it. Yeah. But you always get that one employee that wants to go a little too extra. Maybe they tried out to be a cop and then make it. Oh, and now yeah. they work at Victoria's Secret. You know, you're not getting out here with that pair of panties. No. Yeah. No. Just tase you on the middle 34th Street in the crowd. You're like, what? It's five dollar panties. But I've learned <laughs> that you can just run. Like they can't. You, if you, they give up. They don't they, care. They don't. Uh, no I, one cares. No, the laws like, protect the shoplifter. Thank God, the laws protect us. <laughs> yes, um, they're on our side. Yeah. yeah. The one time All I got the caught though, on the side of was the, the thing went off, and I've never uh, been caught since. But I, um, no, I. The thing went off, and. It beeped and the woman came up and I could have just kept walking because yeah, every time it walking. beeps you just go oh sorry you know uh, you, it beeps all the time no you just, yeah. you just walk out you know at the same time do? as someone else and when they stop oh, you keep moving yeah, yeah that's, a good idea. that's oh, what that's how it works at Century Twenty One you just do this wait, wait, no, no. <laughs> you just do like this confused look like oh. Oh, I would never steal. Which oh. is what and I do every time yeah. when it does beep and I haven't stolen. Yeah, I just, go, oh, just like weird. a confused white girl shrug. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh man, when yeah. you're guilty and, and that starts. beep happens, yeah. the color drains from your face oh, in God. a way and you just freeze in a way that everyone knows you're guilty. And then I I, I think I wanted to get caught. You gotta do that shrug and then take off sprinting. Yes, <laughs> yeah. it I should have. I have the advantage over all of you because as soon as it goes off, they're like, beep, beep, beep. They're like, let me see your bag. I'm like, why? Why? Because I'm black? Yes. And they're like, no, sir, have a nice day. I'm gonna try that. I just have like a TV under my arm. I should try that. I'm here with my oppressed sister Nikki. We are out. It's me, her, and Al Sharpton. We're protesting this show. Shut down this Target. Oh my God, you guys! I love you so much. Jesus and Mira, you guys so hear fun. their podcast, Bodega Boys. That's I mean, right. if you're not sold by these guys right now, if you're not already listening, you're gonna be. Bodega Boys is their podcast available on iTunes. Go see Jeez. them. Thanks for having us. November 11th. 11. Thank you so, so much. much November 11th. 11, 11 at the Hulu Theater at Woo. Madison Square. Garden, right. do not miss it. You guys yeah. are so funny and Thank fun. You, Thank you for being here. Shoplift a outfit to come to the show. I, can, I, I, oh, if I'm in town, I'll be there. Can we do that? Sure. Let's do a thing where we, me and you, shoplift outfits to go to the show. I would love that. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> We're racking up. I need to get back into it anyway. <laughs> 